going on guys so i got the bamboo h2d printer here it's this giant box sitting on the floor i'm gonna be unboxing it and setting it up so let's go ahead and get started by the end of this video we're gonna see the h2d running in real time and see how crazy fast it moves just look at it go it's flying crazy fast all right let's get started if you're new here, my name is Kevin and I've been doing robotics and AI for 10 plus years and have lots of resources on my channel. I also have a master's robotics and AI bundle as well as the robotics project bundle. Go ahead and check it out at kevinwoodrobotics.com. So the one I got right here, you can see is a bamboo lab. The specific type is the AMS combo. You can see the dimensions of this is humongous. And the AMS2 Pro is what allows you to print it in multicolor. So that's what's nice about this. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. All right, so I got this open. See when you open it, there's a little quick start guide here. And they also have a box here. So let's see what's inside. Ooh, so there's some parts in here. You can see there's a kit here that has some parts. These are the parts inside. This right here is for the spool on the side. And then you look here, there's some additional parts here. There's some tubes and some desiccants here. So we'll use that later on when we hook up our filaments. And the very first step you can see right here is take out the accessory box and remove the surrounding cardboard foam and tape. So let's go ahead and do that. First, take the foam out. So when we remove the top, it looks like this. Just rip it off. So you can see right here, I pulled it down. Then now we should be able to lift this printer up and place it somewhere. If you have two people, that would be ideal. It's just me right now. So let's see how I'm gonna lift this big guy up. So I was able to get it off. Man, this thing was heavy. Uh, but you can see right here, there's some space here to fit your hand. So I was holding this part to lift it out of the box. You can also kind of grip it here a little bit. That's another place. Let's go ahead and take this top off here. Now for the front, there's also these two tapes here. So just go ahead and rip those two off. And that way we have access to the inside of this. So when you pull this bag out, you kind of have to pull it through the hinge here. And then you can slide it off once you do that. So we're gonna go ahead and take the longer Allen key and then use this to unscrew the four that we see here. So you can see up here, there's one in here. So there's one two and then there's two more in the bottom so just go ahead and use this allen key to unscrew it actually you want to go ahead and come in here to remove this one on the right and then one on the left there's this foam on top that i just took out that's just mostly for padding so once you remove those screws then these plastic parts here can come off. Okay, so now you're supposed to remove these two screws and then the AMS Pro here can come off. You just go ahead and lift it up. So this right here is the AMS Pro. Eventually you will go ahead and mount this up on top here, but for now let's go ahead and continue uh, assembling this or yeah, taking the screws off basically. So there's some foam pieces I'm gonna take off and then the next part is you want to remove these screws here on the side. So this will allow you to remove this plastic piece here. So go ahead and do that. So when you're turning this right here, just really be careful. The Allen key is very close to the leads, the rail here, the linear guide. So just make sure you're not too close to it, otherwise you might scratch it up. So once you got the screws off, this piece will come right off. So looking from the top here, there's four more screws we need to get. So the first two is gonna be these two right here. Go ahead and remove that. And then there's another one here in the red and then one more on the right. There's gonna be these zip ties here that you wanna go ahead and cut and remove. Now here, go ahead and move this forward and you should be able to move, take this foam out right here. 
just need to pull it towards you, then you could take it out. So now this guy is free to move. There's also this piece of foam here. They didn't mention to take it off, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to because the images didn't have that. Now we're ready to place the glass cover. So just make sure to sit it like this and go ahead and close it. This tab here should be faced up, so make sure you have it in the right orientation. So inside the AMS2 Pro, you're gonna find a pack here. So there's gonna be some cables inside of here. So just go ahead and remove that and we'll use that later on. And it also says here to remove the tape and outer package of the desiccant. So just make sure you rip that off and you want to take the desiccant out of these packages here. You have this tube here that you just wanna go ahead and plug it in. It's gonna go into here, so just go ahead and press it in. And you should be able to feel it stop at some point. Then if you tug on it, it should be snug. And this is the other end here. So just go ahead and feed it into this hole. And again, you want to keep pushing until it stops and just tug on it to make sure there's a release button here if you need to take it out. Uh, but this is the two for this one. This other one here will be for um, if you want to have the external spool. So let's go ahead and put that on. So this thing came in the box. You can see there's a little notch here. What you want to do is match it up with this. So go ahead and put it in like so. And you can go ahead and put your spool here and then feed it in through this tube. So this is how it looks with the spool on. Just go ahead and take your filament here and you want to feed it in through here. So it should go up like this. And then this is where you want to get your other tube. So we have this tube here. Just go ahead and take the other tube and then feed it into this this hole right here. So just gonna go ahead and push it in. Again, you push it until it stops. You can pull on it to do a tug test. And then this right here, you could feed it in. There's a few stickers here. Just go ahead and take it off. There's also a safety key here. So you need to use this to power on. So this key right here will go inside of this hole. So just make sure you have the pins in the right orientation. So there's three and two, so the three goes on top. And when you push it in, you should feel it stop at some point. There's also a power cable that you would connect here. And then the other side, this cable will go right here. So just match it up. Now, finally, you could go ahead and take our power cable and plug it in here. All right, so I have this bad boy turned on. You see the screen is starting up. Everything is lit up. Nice. So on the screen, you're just gonna go ahead and set it up here. So select your language. Go ahead and click next. Select region, North America. Actually, I'll go ahead and set up this account later. So I'm just gonna click skip. Agree to the terms and conditions. Do you want to some help with the improvement program. I'm gonna skip this. So remove the four screws marked in red. Sorry you did that, so hit next. Calibrate for lower noise, better print quality. So it's gonna take 31 minutes to calibrate. So let's go ahead and start that. So we still have the foam in here that we have to take out later on. So we should be able to take that out after calibration, but we're gonna go ahead and let calibration run. So we'll come back when this is done. So first we need to load the filament. Just go ahead and click on this and hit load. Filament type is unknown. So if I edit, I can go ahead and choose the filament type. I'm gonna choose generic here, it's PLA. The color is white. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm. So now if I click this again, I could hit load. I went ahead and started printing my Benchy here. So let's go ahead and see this in action. All right, starting to print. And look at it go. 
This is the first layer coming from a Prusa. You know that this is incredibly fast. This printer is moving so fast. It's like I'm watching time lapse, but this is running in real time. It's pretty insane to look at. All right, it's done. Let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. Quality looks quite impressive. You can see a little bit of layer lines. Um, right here, some parts are slightly uneven. Not sure what happened there, but overall I would say it's not too bad. Maybe I need to recalibrate to fix some of this, but overall I say it did a pretty good job. All right, so that's it for today. Go ahead and stay tuned for more prints. I'm gonna be building a humanoid robot. Make sure to check out the links in my video description. You're gonna get, uh, there's gonna be a discount for the bamboo printers pretty soon. So go ahead and check out the links below.